Hi folks, I'm Foam Man. I've had a lot of folks ask me, where do you get that copper sulfate solution used in your videos? The answer is I make it myself, and you can too. In this video, I'll show you how to do just that. Now copper sulfate is an algaecide, same as this wet and forget, but it's a whole lot stronger and a whole lot cheaper. If you shop around for the copper sulfate crystal, you can make a 20% copper sulfate solution for about four bucks a gallon. That compares to the wet and forget at about $28 a gallon. And this copper sulfate solution is about four or five times as strong as this wet and forget. And you can use this copper sulfate the same way you would use this wet and forget. Just apply it and forget it. Put it anywhere where you don't want green stuff to grow. But do keep in mind that it's a passive cleaner. It kills algae, mold, and mildew on contact. And it will prevent them from growing back for over a year. But just like this wet and forget, it relies on wind and rain and time to rinse the surfaces clean. Now the active ingredient in this wet and forget is alkyl dimethyl benzyl ammonium chloride. And who knows what that is or what its effects are. On the other hand, the active ingredient in this copper sulfate is a whole lot easier to understand. It's just plain old copper. And I didn't invent this or its use as a fungicide. Folks have been using copper sulfate to prevent and clean algae, mold, and fungi for over 50 years. It won't kill your plants or harm your animals. Copper sulfate is the same stuff that fruit farmers spray on their crops to prevent fungi, mold, and algae growth in the field. It's also the same stuff that swimming pool owners dump in their swimming pools to control algae. And it's the same solution that elementary school children play with in fourth or fifth grade science class to make crystals. Now when you buy copper sulfate online or any hardware store, it's going to be a solid like this. And as a solid, it's not usable. But because copper sulfate is a copper salt, it will easily dissolve in water. So to make something you can use, just take around two pounds of these crystals and put them into an empty gallon jug. If you don't want to weigh out two pounds, just use two and a half cups of crystals. Once those crystals are in there, all we need to do now is fill the jug with water. Now we just let the whole thing set for a few hours, and after that you will have a 20% copper sulfate liquid. Just like this. How do I know it's 20%? Because copper sulfate will readily dissolve in water to 20%. That's called a saturation level, which basically means that the water can't absorb any more copper sulfate. Don't worry if there's still crystals on the bottom of the jug. You want that. That just means the copper sulfate is saturated. As long as there are crystals on the bottom, the liquid is saturated at around 20%. And you can see, there are plenty of crystals on the bottom of this jug. When I use a little of this, I'll put more water back in until all the crystals are dissolved. And when that happens, I'll add more crystals. That way I'll always have a gallon of 20% copper sulfate liquid to use. That's all there is to making the copper sulfate. Now let me give you some tips on how to use this. For a tank sprayer application to surfaces where you don't want green stuff to grow like these bricks or a deck or a fence or some concrete, I'll mix 8 ounces of copper sulfate per gallon of water and spray it on using my Foamer 2 as a tank sprayer. I'm also using the 3 8 tank sprayer hose and the 30 inch tank sprayer wand that you can buy from us for your Foamer 2 or build yourself. And while a Foamer 2 makes this job fast and easy, you don't need one to do this. You just use a hand pump tank sprayer if you want. If you want to clean a stained roof and you don't mind waiting for the results, mix this up 10 quarts water to 1 quart copper sulfate and apply it as a liquid soft wash solution using the Foamer 2 as a chemical applicator. The 3A soft wash hose and 075 tip make the application easy. Repeat this every 4 to 6 months until the surface is clean. The Foamer 2 makes this fast and easy, but you can use your own tank sprayer to do this too if you want. Just be careful crawling around the roof with a 30 pound tank of solution, pump, pumping it up to put it on. For treating a clean roof so things never grow back, mix 16 ounces of copper sulfate with 22 ounces of foam accelerator and 90 ounces of water to make a gallon of solution. And apply it as a foam with the foam or two in the 375 tip. Don't rinse, the foam will disappear in an hour or so, leaving behind a copper shield that will protect your roof for well over a year. Since copper sulfate is essentially copper, and copper reacts with zinc, you should probably not use this on a galvanized metal roof. Other than that, just handle this with the same care and personal protection you would with any chemical solution. Wear rubber gloves and eye protection when handling it, 
and avoid breathing the dust and vapors. If you have a mold and mildew problem in your house or basement, mix a quart of water with two ounces of copper sulfate in a spray bottle and go give it a spray. Anywhere you have mold, algae, and mildew, this stuff will kill it dead and keep it from coming back for a long, long time. Hopefully this video answers some questions on the copper sulfate. If not, visit the Fomer website at www.fomer.com and send me an email. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks for stopping by.